back. If you're just tuning in, uh, we are, Sanket and I are going through the poll of exit polls of Bihar. And we just have actually only two polls at the moment, Sanket. But mm. what they are telling us is a very interesting story that an election that was seen as a complete write-off for the opposition, a sweep for the NDA, carrying on from the momentum of the 2019 Lok Sabha elections, there's a twist in the tail. It's actually showing, Sanket, a pretty close fight with an edge at the moment to Tejasvi Yadav and his Mahagad Bandha. Absolutely. In fact, let's quickly tell you the key headlines as those numbers are flashing on your screen right now of the two main polls that have come as of this moment, which show, number one, that the MGB or the Mahagad Bandhan has the edge as of this moment. They're within striking distance of forming a government. Whether they will manage with these numbers, one does not know. Yeah. So we're not sticking our neck out. This is someone else's exit poll. Absolutely. But, but these polls seem to suggest that they have the edge. The NDA marginally behind. Mm. Marginal. And this mm. needs to be mentioned. Yes. There are no massive losses, but marginally behind. And the Mahagadbandhan is within striking distance, as we told you, of power. And the LJP, the fourth key headline, mm. the LJP has failed to fire. But, Vasu... Has it damaged Has it Nitish Kumar? Spoiler. And exactly. the reason and the reason why I'm saying this is because the sea voter poll, Vasu, yes. shows some very interesting results. Yes. In the in the NDA camp, the JDU has got the range of the JDU is 38 to 46. Mm. And the range of the BJP is 66 to 74. For the first time, the BJP has become the big brother yes. in Bihar, as far as the NDA alliance is concerned. Yes. That's true. And you're right to suggest. That one of the factors, so there were many factors that were working against Nitish Kumar. There was incumbency, there was anger against joblessness, there was anger about flood management. The list is long. But also the fact that the LJP chose to only fight against the JDU yeah. and not against the BJP. Perhaps they may have played the role of spoil sport. But the net result seems to be that the NDA juggernaut seems to be somewhat behind. Mm. But as we know, these are exit polls. There are a lot of caveats. They could be wrong. Anything could happen mm -hmm. on the 10th. And also, you could still have a hung situation as well, uh, Sanket. And there in a hung situation, we know exactly how that goes typically <laughs> when you have the BJP involved. Yeah, but then so, again, we are waiting for, so, I think, one or two other significant exit polls. Uh, yeah. there, there's a slight delay or the, uh, maybe part of the strategy of those uh, pollsters yes. uh, to release their numbers a little late. I think... Uh, 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 they're releasing numbers. The India Today group is releasing the numbers on the Madhya Pradesh bipoles first. Yes. And then they're going, and that's also a very interesting story, Madhya Pradesh. Yes. Their exit poll seems to suggest now that perhaps Mr. Shivrat Singh Chauhan yes. will enjoy being uh, his fourth term as the chief minister. That's right. Now, so all those happens, Congress rebels who crossed over, significant Deliver. numbers of them have won. 16 to 18 have won, according to the tweet put out by Rahul yeah. Kamal. All, all they needed was nine. Nine. So, if they are getting 16, they're uh, well within... They're home and dry. Yeah. All right.